Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Tastefully Balanced. I'm Miriam, and for today's video, I wanted to share five tips and tricks on meal prepping. I've been meal prepping all month long, and so throughout the process, I've kind of learned a few things that makes it a little bit easier and makes it much more successful. So if you guys love meal prepping and want ideas on how to make it more efficient, please subscribe and keep watching. All right, welcome back. So the first, first thing that I will say is you need to make sure and plan for the week. And I've shared this already with you guys. This is the Skinny Taste Meal Planner. She has a newer version of this, but this is the old one. This is the first edition. And I use this a lot to help me kind of plan out what I'm gonna be eating. And from this, I can see exactly what the actual recipes are gonna be, and then create a grocery list off of that. So this helps me so, so much on Friday or Saturday I like to sit down sit down with this and a pencil and just kind of plan out the week and that way I don't need to guess later and I can focus on just getting the ingredients now and the planning is you know done and I like to plan in a way that has a theme if you've noticed the last few weeks I've done like a theme for the meal prepping and I like doing that so that we're not just you know eating the same thing week after week and we get to you know try different things all the time so that's what I will say planning is so so key it's so important to being efficient at meal planning I can't stress that enough all right, the second tip that I have is going grocery shopping, buying all the ingredients on one day. So now that you've got the planning done and now you know what you need to buy, I would go early, early in the morning. If you can, go early in the morning on the weekends or early in the mornings on the weekdays. That way you beat the rush. You can, you know, kind of calmly just go through the store and buy what you need to buy. And make sure you just plan it. Plan to get all of your ingredients in that one shopping trip. Or at least if you are going to multiple stores, at least have it be just one day that you're doing all of the shopping. So definitely plan your grocery trip plan it so that you have your entire list and it's gonna cover everything for the entire week and go at a time that isn't very busy so that you can go in and calmly look at your things and be able to get out of there all right the third tip that I have is buy meal prep containers this helps you kind of portion out your protein your veggie your fruit however way you want to portion it out but these containers are so so good I have this I also have these smaller ones to hold breakfast or eggs if I'm having it. They're all snap so they don't leak, which is very key. These are great. I will put a link to where I got them from. On It's from Amazon in the description box if you guys are interested, but they're very, very sturdy and I've been loving it so far. But buy various sizes, buy ones that have compartments and it'll make meal prepping more fun. I kind of like at the end, you know, once everything is done and I've made all of my meals. I like putting them in containers and just popping this in the fridge because you know, this is breakfast, this is lunch, you know, everything's just planned out for you so it's easier. You don't have to think about it later in the day. So definitely, definitely invest in some good containers. All right, the fourth tip that I have is using things that make your life easier. For example, this little gadget that I have, it, you put in like an insert like this, and then it has a top, and there are many. I'll, I'll try to find, this is an old, old one, but I'll try to find one on Amazon that's very similar, does the same thing. But you can chop your veggies so, so much easier. You would, all you do is just kind of put it right in the middle right here, press down on it, and 
it snaps and all of your veggies come cut down on the bottom. So I've been using this a ton, especially with uh, the upcoming video that I have, which is going to be a vegan meal prep video. So lots of veggies I didn't wanna chop, so I used this little handy dandy thing and it made it so, so much easier. So definitely recommend using gadgets, little tools and you know food processors, mixers, whatever to make it easier to prep, make it more faster so that you're not spending a ton of time making all these different dishes. So, or if you don't really feel like chopping your own veggies, there's a ton of other options like buying pre-cut veggies in the store, grocery store. It's a little bit more pricey, but if you rather not spend the time to do that and rather just buy a big bag of pre-cut veggies, do that. It saves you time and if it makes sure that you are eating well, then why not? It's better than eating out. So definitely just finding little tips and tricks to make the prepping part of the meals faster is definitely a good tip. So I, I forgot I had this actually and then I pulled it out and I'm like, oh my gosh, why haven't I been using this the whole time? So yeah, definitely, definitely makes your life a lot easier. All right, and the last tip that I have is make it fun. I have music going, I have a TV behind you guys right now that I turn on to my favorite show. Friends is always on right now. Don't judge me, but I'm re-watching Charmed if you guys <laughs> remember Charmed. But just make it fun. I like to chop and watch and it's just fun for me and the time passes just like that. You're watching TV, you're watching your favorite show and before you know it, all the veggies are chopped and you're just cooking away so make it fun you know put on a podcast if you guys like listening to podcasts put on an audiobook whatever you know things like that to make the time more fun for you and if you're not someone that enjoys your time in the kitchen believe me doing one of these steps will make it more fun for you you won't notice that you're actually doing something you know helpful for the week so i don't know i love my time in the kitchen so i can't relate if you don't like it hopefully these things will make it a little bit more enjoyable all right those are my tips and tricks as of right now on how to make meal prepping more fun and efficient as I learn more maybe I'll do a part two to this I don't know if you guys have tips and tricks as well leave it in the comment section below because as you know I'm going to not just do this for the channel but I want to continue doing this for a good chunk of the year because I think it's just so helpful and it's really been saving so much of my time I spend a lot of my Sunday doing this but at the end of the day I am done for the week and I can actually do other things which has been great during the week so anyways if you guys like meal prepping as much as i do please comment like share and subscribe and as always live life tastefully balanced